Hey all and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Well, we've done all the lessons that I can remember right now. Uh, oh, Nearly Headless Nick. I guess it's time to participate in a bit of a Death Day party. Tomorrow I'm holding a party down in one of the roomier dungeons. Who is this guy who's doing a John Cleese impression? It surely can't be John Cleese himself. Oh hell no. I thought we like we found that out in in the first game playthrough is that like no one came back for these first couple games until they were able to get like that Warner Brothers license money. Let's have a look here. I'll find this on behind the voice actors. You keep an eye on the screen. I'll keep an eye on this website over here. Oh wait, I was supposed to keep an eye on the screen? Shit, I didn't even have the part up. That's what you get for not paying attention. Um, so if IMDB is correct, it's David Coker. There you go. Bravo, good job. I couldn't even tell the difference. Huh. In the uh, 1997 game Doctor Who Destiny of the Doctors, David Coker voiced the first and second Doctors, so there you go. And he voiced Nearly Headless Dick in uh, Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Order of the Phoenix, and half of Prince, the video games. Ravenclaw? Oh man, the point scenes! These are actually so cute in the first game, I'm glad, glad these stuck around, because they don't... They don't stay. Like, Apple. after a while, we just don't give a fuck about the house cut because, you know, the school's at war. It's funny because the way this game concludes this is just like, you won. The end. I I'm saying this now because I probably won't get a chance to later with how abrupt it is, but, uh, uh yeah, I'm going to go out of my way to win this thing. I'm pretty sure there's no, like, extra scene, but uh, I'll also be getting all the cards and whatnot as well. Fair. I'm sure that by this second game, because of the Harry Potter fantasy, I'm sure like it's set up to where just beating the game has you win the house cup regardless. You just win, you just probably maybe win it by more. Potentially. I mean, the, obviously the whole point of the end of um, Chamber of Secrets, because, Chamber, correct me if I'm wrong, oh no, is it? Is it Chamber of Secrets where Hagrid gets arrested and then gets returned at the end? Oh, there you are, uh, that Hermione might be Prisoner of Azkaban. Who is that Prisoner of Azkaban? No, because he, cause he's away because of the spiders. Ah, yes. And all his other pets. Because he's dangerous, even though like later on that's literally his job. I don't... Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, logic doesn't really exist in the uh, Harry Potter universe. Because <laughs> magic exists. So I'm going to just, like, hedge my bets here and say you guys have never been to a Death Day party before. No, uh, uh, I have not um, been to a funeral. Oh, Close enough, you. good enough. It's about it, un un unless you mean um, watching... Um, Happy Death Day, which was actually a very fun film. <laughs> At my party, there's maggoty haggis, fairy green cheese, and a tombstone cake. Delicious, eh? Um, same it's for Happy Harry. Death Day to you. All of those foods sounded disgusting, well, like my lit. stomach turned at game yes, text. Well, was. we can get Colin it's to try them, really just to make sure they're fit for human consumption. <laughs> <laughs> You're a small child, I need you to eat this. I'm not going to. I can't see anymore, I don't think magic can fix this. <laughs> <laughs> just causes the small child to go blind from cheese poisoning. Oh, Jesus. Also, can I just say, I've spotted something which is kind of hilarious. So, this way, Harry. almost every other... So, Harry has on his model a, a protruding nose. If you look at Colin Creevy, his face is flat. And it's the same for quite a few of the other characters. It seems like they decided, some of you are going to have noses, some of you are not. Clearly in preparation for um, Voldemort and the lack of a nose on him. Um, but uh, perhaps that suggests that uh, some of these uh, delightful people are already under his spell. Ooh, that's a load of bullshit. Also, if Harry had a nose before... That encounter with the knight and the axe probably means he doesn't anymore. 
Are you implying that Nearly Headless Nick is already I half Voldemort? Uh, no, Nearly Headless Nick is fine because he actually has a nose modelled there, surprisingly. Oh, it's Malfoy that's half Xehanort. My bad. Of course, he's a prick. Can you just imagine if, like, in the middle of Kingdom Hearts 3 without any fanfare, PS1 Malfoy rocks up for, like, five seconds, and then nobody ever mentions it ever again? That's just Nomura's writing style, my dude. Yeah, just drop it in. There it is. Fucking peeves. Here's a treat. It's like the whole reason we still don't know what Oogie Boogie was scared of in Chain of Memories. Like, what the fuck, Nomura? You're just gonna have that in your series, just like waiting, just like. A am I supposed to scare myself here? Because it's working. I think he was just remembering that Sora killed him, honestly. I don't know, the game doesn't say, so in, in, in Nomura's hands, it could be fucking anything. To be fair, I've kind of blocked out most of Chain of Memories for my, my, my memory. No, don't do that, it's the best one! It's Kino as fuck, my dude! Mm, worst gameplay of the batch. Well, here, you just... Gotta grind for more nine cards and, and the occasional zero cards, and then you're all good. So all you need, Dark Aura. Nope, get the fuck out of here, Zero, bitch. <laughs> God, I just I love zero cards. The entire concept of a no fuck you card just boop. <laughs> That's just a reverse Uno card if you think about it. It is. It's why uh, Sly Chain of Memories is such a fun game. Like you see Axel get his three cards together because he thinks he's gonna send a wall of fire at you. You're just waiting with a zero. You're just waiting. All right, we got a bunch of snails here. I wonder if Peeves set this up, but he's a ghost, so I don't think he has access to magic. Uh, well, you never know. He's a he's a prankster ghost, really, isn't he? No, yeah, poltergeist specifically. Yeah, so even if he didn't set it up, he probably just persuaded all of the, the snails and slugs and other things to just hang about and attack Harry Potter, because uh, he's just that type of ghost. Did they ever discuss whether the ghost could use magic? Like, if you were the ghost of a really powerful wizard, would, would you be, still have your magic in the afterlife? or like? Honestly, I have no idea. Well, they uh, mentioned that a soul is real, so I would assume... <laughs> I think you would just have to have access to a wand to properly channel it. Okay, so ghosts can't use magic because they can't hold a wand. I assume. Again, this is not covered, I'm just pulling stuff out of my ass here. I mean, it, it, answers, answer the... Jowling, cowling, rowling, we're waiting for our answers here. Can ghosts use magic in Harry Potter? <laughs> it's like, uh, you just go on Pottermore, like, uh, support, and you <laughs> just keep sending questions about Harry Potter lore. It's like, is the game crashed? It's like, no, I just have questions. So many questions. Uh, let's see here. Nearly Headless Nick was, spoilers, petrified in Chamber of Secrets, thus he interacted with magic, but uh, I don't think they can use it specifically. Yeah, like, Chamber of Secrets starts, like, all the whole world building. Like, you kind of figure out where some of the ghosts come from. Like, the school has secret dungeons with, you know, with, with knowledge that we know of, like, the characters. Like, you know Dumbledore knows fully and completely well about the Chamber of Secrets. He was just kind of... I don't know, were they playing dumb or I don't know what it is, they were just kind of letting Harry Potter figure it out on his own. Well, a lot of people knew about the Chamber of Secrets as a concept, it was just its location, because you need to use parcel tongue to get into it. Yeah, and as uh, bonkers and knowledgeable as Dumbledore was, I think that is one thing that even he wasn't capable of, so he would have been like, I know it is somewhere, I could probably find it if I used some sort of proper spell, but one, I'm too lazy and um, I'm totally fine with child endangerment, um, and also um, really just thought you'd let, let people get on with it. The entrance is a school bathroom haunted by one of the victims. Like, it's not that diff- he's Dumbledore. 
Yeah, well, they thought a spider was the one who killed another snake. Yeah. Let's go, Harry. Let's go into the classroom. Because, you know, when you live in the magic world, you can't tell if it's the petrifying giant snake problem or a petrifying giant spider problem. Not fan of either, honestly. I, it, it's like Australia. <laughs> the inside of Hogwarts is just... It's a, it's a magical port key to Australia, is what it is. There is no magical, like, dimension or wizard world. It's just... You just get teleported to Australia. Can I just say, I don't know whether it's the emulator or um, the actual game, but I love how some of the ghosts are basically um, just 2D models, um, and you can see the uh, you can see a square outline around them. I think it's probably the emulator, but still, it's hilarious. It just adds to the atmosphere, darling. Feel free to talk to the dead. No! My box of stuff! Fucking peeves. Spooky time. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on Twitter on Halloween. Peeves, dive down behind the table. Before the Dark Knight, you this was our Joker. Yes, it did. <laughs> Don't come. What the fuck is that icon? I am scared. Yikes! Amazing. That's not Rick Bale, that's not even close. Nope, that is the, uh, the, the, the face of a demon. And that's why he wasn't in the movies, gotcha, gotcha. He probably would have scared kids, to be honest. Probably. So yeah, just another one of these, you gotta hit the things he throws and then, like, count. Oh, baguette! Cake! More cake! I'm waiting for you, peeves. What you got, baby? Are we having fun yet? I don't know. I just took a baguette full to the face. There's a remarkable amount of food back there, considering these people are all dead. Nearly headless Nick got all of this rotten food. It's just all gonna go to waste. Well, <laughs> I, I, whoa, fucking croissant, croissant slash boomerang banana. Not the baguette again, my one weakness. Anyway, in the book, it's basically said that uh, the ghost can't taste it, but they leave it to ferment so they can almost taste it. Peeves, give Ron back his present. Nice. Can you just leave the castle, please? Why does Dumbledore allow you to stay here? He's... No, he can't. You're like, can you leave? He's bound to this ground, my dude. It's the whole point. He couldn't leave if he tried. To be continued. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. The voice was growing fainter, and Harry was sure it was moving away, moving upwards. He began to run, his stomach lurching. Something was shining on the wall ahead. Harry approached slowly, squinting through the darkness. It was a fucking cat hanging by its tail. Oh no, Filch, he's going to make me into his new cat. She was as stiff as a board, her eyes wide. Well, this is where uh, Chamber of Secrets starts to get a little spooky itself. Uh -huh. Yeah, it takes off the kid gloves and it's like, hello, you're in a murder mystery now. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Except nobody's actually dead. Yeah. They're just petrified. Yeah. Just, just petrified. They just got sent to the Shadow be Realm. It's okay. In the corridor. When Filch saw Mrs. Norris, he screeched accusingly at Harry. You've murdered my cat. You've killed And then it. everyone was like, I think it was Harry Drake Potter. And everyone was like, but why? It's like, because Harry Potter. Because his name's in the yeah. title. And everyone was like, ah, yes, I, I agree. Also, is Harry, like, weirdly tall in the shot as his mouth boy? All the adults seem shorter than usual just to scale it to the picture size. Okay, fucking magic, working at random. Hermione seems bored in the library. Then again, Ron was talking. Yeah, I think it's probably that. Um, <laughs> that... 
just the picture of those models. It could have been like out of some weird like Elder Scrolls mod, but I'm no. Sure that Harry Draco Potter game. Is the heir of oh I wow, the one right. guy who always bullies oh, y'all. No, yeah, he's yeah. got to be the guy, all right. Polly, what? That's that's the thing potion. too. Like in the context of this book, like they're wrong. Oh, without a doubt. We could trick Malfoy into admitting he's the heir. To make the potion, house loyalty we'll and like fate and all that shit like flies, it's not real it like even within feet, the books themselves grass, like it doesn't matter what house they were in slang. yeah i mean even dumbledore said once to snape that he thinks they sought too Harry, early you can get the leeches lacewing flies and super weird brimstone. but i mean i guess it's like it's also just icon. again with this still being a very child-friendly child aim series at this point is that you know it, you can, they can, they can, they're still able to do the whole, you know, Gryffindor's good, Slytherin's bad, and not have it get muddled in the complexities of like, yeah, but they're also just students. Like, like, come on, guys, you guys kind of goofed it. Oh yeah, potions science. with Snape. Mixing potions is a very precise. Today we will be making a bong, Mr. Potter. I hope you're. Oh Jesus! I was just about to say, like, this potions class, we're making what the muggles call LSD. Ah, yes. Good, Mr. Weasley, take a fat rip. If you remember, you must first I like the Wigan Wild potion. This appears in a lot of the video games. Press the three symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. Seeing symbols, Mr. Potter, I bet it's an N64 configuration, you fucking child. Yep, this is uh, the same as it was in the previous game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it! You don't actually have to do any dungeoneering this time, it's just this. Oh, that's good. good Only a fool would expect better of you. Fuck but off, you goth cunt! You can yes, the so Snape set up dismissed. the whole... a whole thing. You're gonna die a virgin without a wife. Oh my god, he gets cooked so hard he turns evil. So, <laughs> by the entire Potter line. It's not even, like, just by James. Just several members of the Potter oh, family cuck Snape so me. incredibly hard. In another life, Harry would be a Jojo, and <laughs> Snape would be Dio. Oh, uh, shit! <laughs> Can you help me to get rid of uh, Snape oh, very much but is a gyro. Or, uh, he's a Zeppelin, might be. I do? Like getting some knocked grass and flux weed? Yeah, let me just oh, say this out in the open. Sure Go you do it, you ginger. Skin, uh, leg swings and I'm swearing too much in this part. I'm trying to reel it in a little bit. Creatures, but if yes, family-friendly Harry Potter, skin, the, the game where we, 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 we are saying you? multiple uh, swear words. Yes. Bloody hell. That's right. <laughs> Homework for potions. All right then, Harry. I'll make a deal with you. Get rid of them gnomes in my pumpkin patch, and I'll give you some boom slang. It'll hold under development okay, cycle, Hagrid, and they decided to deal. do nothing about Hagrid's face. Good to know, like that, it was probably not even remotely near the top of their priority work list. No, dude, it was perfect the first time when you it create the Venus ah! de Milo. You don't continue <laughs> to like edit it and whatnot. Let's see if you can get these blasted gnomes out of oh, my winter pack. setting. I'm feeling enough, Christmas. Then. I'll give you Ooh. some slang skin. To fling the gnomes, press the square button, which will help I would consider the Harry Potter movies Christmas movies, because they all feature Christmas to a certain extent. When you reach the fence, I think it's super weird that people do do that. It, but I know, like, hell, like, the TV channels do yeah, that now, because they'll do, like, Harry Potter marathons at Christmas. But it's like, guys, it's a sc they're school movies. Like, I don't... And it's like, even none of the movies predominantly take place at Christmas. Like, it's literally just that they all have a scene at Christmas because it's school movies. Yeah, I mean, like, so a <laughs> film that I certainly classify as a Christmas movie because it takes place entirely at Christmas um, is, Di is Die Hard. That is a Christmas movie that you don't think of necessarily in the same vein as other typical Christmas movies because obviously... It's a it's an action thing that's just an absolute <laughs> badass film. But yeah, ha Harry Potter films are not Christmas films, and uh, th they will never be Christmas films. Okay, well, because Die Hard's plot is predicated on it being Christmas, like exactly. he's flying into California because it is Christmas. Like there are reasons 
like integral to the plot. It's kind of like like the whole Gremlins thing when people don't know if it's a Christmas movie. It's like the whole point is that the Gremlins are a Christmas present. Like it's I don't you can't take Christmas out of these movies because then it don't mix. Sense. Yes, I mean it's exactly why um, Bayonetta Two is a Christmas game because it takes place entirely over Christmas and going into New Year. And Christmas presents! Yes! I totally forgot! Holy shit! Fair enough. Well, Harry receives the invisibility cloak specifically at Christmas, so does that not make it a Christmas movie anymore? It's because Christmas is only a tiny bit. It could very well have been his birthday as well. It does not need to be Christmas, and Harry Potter, the rest of the movie, still functions. <sighs> Fine, shit on my Christmas memories, I guess. This is another one of those things where if you pass 800, you get another Witches and Wizards card, so Fine. just think on. Thank you, Harry. Now, I must go. More of me is devolving into a potato, so... <laughs> Don't need little kids seeing me become a spud. Thank you very much. Have a thing. God bless you, Harry Potter. God bless you. No, I'm good. See you later, Hagrid.